I'm Adam Cooper, I'm from Ceasefire Magazine. I'm here today at the Rebellious Media Conference and I'm talking to Simon Murray about Shake, his youth organisation. Hi Simon, thanks for coming and speaking to Ceasefire today. It's fantastic. I was wondering if you could tell um, the people from Ceasefire, who are reading Ceasefire a little bit about um, your organisation and what it does. Shake is a, an organisation that was set up by Platform and it uh, comprises a number of other organisations um, working with young people 16 to 25 years old in, in the London area but also linking up with other organisations in Leeds and the, the framework for it is to engage young people, politically engaged young people already to link up with artists and practitioners, activists in the areas of poetry, um, music and video. A lot of your work has been affected by the recent civil unrest that we've seen in this country in August. In what way do you see your, your work really kind of addressing the issues and the aftermath of the August riots? Art is essential in, um, in, in addressing the, the civil unrest that we've, we've developed. Um, you know, um, creativity and, and dissidence goes hand in hand, so um, on the very basis of the portrayal of the, the unrest, I think we need to have creative responses to that, and, and that's, that can be in, as people have discussed at this conference, it can be in challenging the media, so creatively thinking of, of ways we can challenge the system in terms of, um, you know, replying on, on control, on, on forms, monitoring forms, writing letters, but also, you know, bypassing the system altogether, you know, linking up together in communities on the streets, um, theatre, um, creating banners, creating posters, you know, dance, dancing the guns to silence, as Ken Sarawiwa says, um, poetry, words, um, the art, art, art's key in this. And, and as um, Saul Williams says uh, recently, the, the American poet, um, you know, poetry, in particular artists, that they are at the forefront of, of social change, um, going back to the days of, of the, the Harlem Renaissance and, you know, all throughout history, but poets are at the forefront um, and, and artists are at the forefront by being in tune with, with what's around them, so they, they are able to plug into the times and able to create these powerful, concise critiques of, of the system and, and of and the situation, which can then be um, communicated widely and, and picked up and created memes and uh, you know create um, create big movements. What would you say have been the most professional or poignant or influential political art projects that you've come into contact with in recent years? Well, I mentioned uh, Nawal El Sadawi before, the, the Egyptian writer, um, and I, I was recently blessed to be in, in a talk that she gave, organised by Sable magazine, which was uh, on this subject, which was women, creativity and dissent, and, and I, that's, that's been so inspiring for me, you know, just her life story and her continuing activism at um, 80 years old, she's, um, she's 80 this coming, in the next few weeks, so happy birthday, Noel. And, and I think um, you know, her, her life story and, and you know, her engagement with, with art and creativity is, is so inspiring because um, this is a lady who's um, been imprisoned, who's still fighting the system. Um, she was on the streets in, in, in Egypt in, in the uprisings. Um, she's not afraid, and, and that's, that's a key thing for me. People like Malcolm X as well, um, uh, you know, he, he, he obviously had the, the, the the phrase when he was interviewed that um, he, he recognised that he was dead um, 20 years ago, um, you know, so, so he now lives without fear because he, he, his former life was, was involved with various things and he was reborn and so, you know, that, that idea of living without fear I think is so powerful um, because as some people have said today, the Sheikh, um, the Sheikh conference, the Sheikh session that um, the powers try to rule by fear. So if we're able to kind of do things from the heart, do things with love, do things with uh, in solidarity with other people without fear, um, you have to confront these fears. Then that's when we can bypass the system and we can, you know, create beautiful movements and artworks and yeah, creativity is dissidence.